Hey, this is Russ. Yeah, I got a new bike to show you. Let me, let me show you what came in. This is the Mi Bike Gallop Step Through. Now they have a step over and a step through version. This one happens to be the step through. You see it's a little bit different than the other bikes I've used in the past. A Mi Bike had contacted me a while back and uh, they are new to the marketplace. And so I was debating whether I should review this bike or just leave it for someone else. But I said, you know, this is, this is different than anything else I've ever done. So I said, why not? Let's take a look at it, see if it works for a person like me or it doesn't. So if you look at the bike, you kind of think, hey, this is kind of a moped styled bike. Yeah, kind of is. The seat height is not adjustable. It's uh, basically permanently fixed. But it does have some features in here which I thought was interesting that uh, some of my other bikes have never had before. I think the first thing people notice is the rear suspension, right? There's one of those on each side of the bike. And does it work? Yeah, it works. I can feel it. You hit a bump, I can feel it. The wheels are a little different too. They don't have spokes, as you notice. Some people call these mag wheels. Well, they're not made out of magnesium, they're aluminum. <laughs> but they're one-piece wheels, 180 uh, millimeter rotors. These are hydraulic brakes. The brakes are made by a company called Logan. Okay. They do work pretty well, but I have been getting front rotor squeal. Now this is not the first bike I've seen this happen to. A couple of my other bikes, when I first got them, had the same problems. Um, I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, I've just ridden several miles on it, and that's about it, just to get it over here so you can see the bike. But I figured out, I'll just give you an overview real quickly, what the bike is, and then we'll go in depth on another video. So the battery on this bike is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. So it's got a lot of power there. And uh, there's a key hole right here and then a push button. So once you uh, put the key in here, the battery will drop down. It's a pretty heavy battery. It's a pretty big, hefty battery. Down on this side is the charging port. So you can uh, pop this open and then charge it directly to the battery right here or you can take the battery out and do it. I, I think it's easier just to leave it there and charge it with it on the, bat, on the uh, bike rather than having to take the battery out. This is a color display. I don't know if you can see it well in the bright sun or not. Probably not. <laughs> we'll do a better uh, video. But it's, um, yeah, it's a color display on there. It's got a bell. Uh, I did add a few things. This does not come with it. This is a rear, uh, well, a side view mirror. Um, I feel that that's kind of important for all bikes to have. So before even riding with the bike, I decided I, I should put one of these on. I also added my typical uh, throttle. <laughs> this is a thumb throttle that is uh, 3D printed. I put that on pretty much all my bikes. So I'm used to using this rather than a standard twist throttle. So just adding the little device to make it easier for myself to, to, to test it. Um, the front suspension, yeah, you can dial it in to how much suspension um, you would like. I added the water bottle cage and the water bottle. Okay, The, the little uh, attachments for adding a water bottle is included, of course, but they don't give you the water bottle cage. Most of these bike companies do not. And that's basically all I've done to the bike so far. So, yeah, we'll do a full review of the bike to see how it performs. Um, at, a, at a later date. I will tell you right off the bat here that uh, the bike is locked at 20 miles per hour initially, but there is provisions that you can unlock that and it can go as much as 28 miles per hour, but you do need to contact the company uh, after you buy it and then they will give you the unlock code if you would desire to do that. But uh, initially it comes out as, as 20 miles per hour, which would put it into a class two, two type bike. Like I said, the seat is not adjustable. It is a set height. Um, the one thing I did notice too, real quickly, is that the kickstand, um, yeah, the pedal is really close to it. So if, if you 
pedal back and your kickstand is on there, you will uh, run into the kickstand. A lot of the other bikes out there, they move the kickstand further back, but based on this design, they really couldn't do that and still have the uh, suspension system working. So uh, it's just something that you just have to be aware of. That uh, it's just like your standard bike, you have to move your kickstand out of the way first before you start pedaling. As far as the other components on here, it's uh, Shimano Altus, which is pretty standard now. Pretty much everyone has um, this type of uh, uh, derailleur on there, and the, uh, the freewheel is a um, is a Shimano as well. So it's seven speeds. So you have uh, seven speeds of pedal assist. I will tell you that it's very difficult for me to pedal. I am five foot ten and I have a replaced knee, so my flexion is not that great in the first place. I could barely get a rotation out of this thing uh, with my bad knee, but um, I think this would probably be better suited for someone who's shorter <laughs> or someone who doesn't really want to pedal. If you just want to throttle, this would be the bike for you. <laughs> uh, but you can pedal it, and the pedal assist uses um, not the standard cadence um, type of um, uh, device that uses a, a uh, torque sensor so it's not a cadence sensor at all so the harder you pedal the more power you get to the uh, to the assist now that's a little bit different and a little strange in, in my opinion because it's kind of hard to pedal this bike in the first place if you're relatively tall I am five foot ten and because of my legs and everything it's kind of hard for me to pedal this bike now you could use it, and I know a lot of people who are my size will buy bikes like this, but I kind of feel that this bike is better suited for the shorter um, person. You know, if you're like 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, 5'4", five, 5'3", five, 5'2", five, that would be perfect for you. You can pedal all day long, no problem. But, um, you know, for me, or anyone taller than me, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to pedal this very easily, even though it has the uh, torque sensor in there. Yeah, I, I think this is more of a more of a throttle thing for me. <laughs> Headlights are kind of interesting. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do it now because it's in bright sunlight, but yeah, it gives it kind of that motorcycle type of look to it, you know. And then the handlebars are kind of like the BMX style handlebar. It's a nice looking bike, I will say that. It's a nice looking bike with a lot of accessory things that you might want to hope that your bike had, like the rear suspension, but you know, hydraulic brakes, it has the hydraulic brakes in there. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the bike. You can see what's coming up. We'll do a full review of this bike a little bit later, but I wanted to get it out there as fast as I could, give me bike a chance to get started with the uh, sales of their bikes so other people can actually see what the, um, the um, step-through version looks like. There are some videos out there from other YouTubers that have the step over version but um, I kind of like this step through <laughs> yeah it's easier to get on and off the bike the rear rack does come with the uh, bike it's not an accessory it comes with it so um, yeah and of course if, if you pull the the brakes the um, the rear light will will blink and then uh, during the time when the light is permanently on then the real t rear tail light stays on of course there's also a sensor on there too that uh, if it's in a dark situation, the headlights will automatically turn on. Oh, and one thing I didn't mention, it has Bluetooth capability. So you can download an app, and um, once you download that app and uh, connect this bike up to that app, all of the display screen information will be on the app. You can turn on and off the lights through the app, that type of thing. So anyways, we'll do a, we'll do a more in-depth uh, review of this bike down the road, but I just wanted to give you an overview. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and take a look at the Me Bikes uh, website. I'll put a link in the uh, description below. I'll talk to you guys next time.